tell me your name, how old you are, and what you do for a job. Hey, Nance, I'm Aiden. I'm 28, and I work as a focus puller, first camera assistant. Awesome. Um, yeah. So what is your role and what responsibilities do you have in your job? What does that mean, doing that role? So I work in film, commercial film production, and what it basically means is that I keep everything sharp. So whenever you watch a TV show or a movie, you'll see the, fo like the focus shift between characters or between objects. And it's my role and responsibility to make sure that whatever the director wants to be in focus is staying in focus. So awesome. I maintain, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. I mean, I keep the distance, sorry, I keep the distance, like I have to maintain the, like know what distance is between the camera and the subject. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Awesome. So how long have you been doing this current job? Um, I've been doing, well, this currently the first. I've been probably three years full time. Um, originally, I started about eight years ago doing photography and helping out just on set. Um, and then slowly, slowly worked my way up and specialised and moved into, yeah, focus point. Awesome. So this isn't your first job then. So what were you doing before and why did you make that change? So I re I've actually always just worked in photography or film. I had a few part-time jobs along the way that helped me through, but I decided to focus on being a first because it's more specialized and I really enjoyed kind of the challenge. Like it's a very, very technical and structured job. So I like to, yeah, kind of get my hands dirty and work with that. Awesome. Yeah. So when you were in high school, what subjects did you do and why did you choose them? Did they link to what you do now? So I did math methods. I did accounting. I did like business and media. And out of those subjects, media was the one that I really loved. Like I just had a fascination with photography and kind of continued it. I like, I enjoyed it in high school. And so then I wanted to do it after high school and kind of found out a way to be able to make a living and work in that field. Um, yeah. And um, I know that you've run your own business. So in terms of the maths, accounting, those sides of things, has that been helpful? Do you use that stuff definitely. now? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So even like, yeah, math methods feel so far away from anything to do with film production, but it actually links. Like, like I said, with um, focus pulling, you actually have to know the distance that someone will be from the subject. So you have to just, you have to use that math in your head um, just to add and subtract. Yeah, just adding, subtracting, just working out what a distance, what someone will be and all on the fly. Like you have to just remember it and know the measurements. Um, same with accounting. Like I work for myself. So invoicing, um, keeping tax, all that boring stuff really comes in handy. Yeah. And sure. yeah. Um, so, what qualification, oh, sorry, did you have to do, once you finished school, did you have to do any extra study to get your job or to get into your industry? Yeah, so I studied creative arts. Um, I got a bachelor, bachelor's degree in creative, creative design, it was called. And, um, yeah, it was, I learned a bunch of design principles, um, art history. Um, it felt all, all like, yeah, artsy stuff. And then learned, met people in the industry, which then led me kind of towards the career that I went down. Awesome. Yeah. And in your industry, how much do you earn or how much can you earn? Well, it all depends. So you generally charge for a half day or a full day. Um, and you're looking at that, you can, like top, top people can charge thousands of dollars for one day's work. Um, like I work with productions that are $80,000 or $100,000 for an ad for a 30 second spot or, um, yeah, just like it's it's big money, but you kind of have to be the top of your game. Like it's very challenging. Yeah. Um, um, and how did you get your job? Where did you look? Did you look online? Did you apply for it? Did you know people? Just helped out on a short film and then helped out on another short film. Did hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of free hours just helping student films. Um, yeah, doing favours for friends, working on creative things. And you just network and you meet people and that's it. You really just, it's very, very cutthroat and very hard to get into. So you have to impress. You can't be lazy. Don't like, if you're, if you're just sitting around and not helping, people won't remember you and won't call you back. Um, yeah, there's no job application you can fill out, fill out to kind of get this career. Yeah. yeah. So it's really important that when you're on site, when you're working, you're making a very good impression to people because they're the ones that will kind of help you move further in the industry. 
yeah, like it's funny, you all start out on the lower, like shoot, short films that, or student films, and you just progress together. And everybody, someone might get a bigger job and they remember you from helping out on the short film months ago. And they're like, oh, I need, you know, that guy was good. I need an extra set of hands. Hey, there's a bit of budget here. And then that level up, level up, and everyone kind of helps each other. It's very, um, a very, very personal industry, like a very small industry. So yeah. you all know each other. Um, yeah, like I said, you can't fill out a form online and get a job in the industry. It's all about experience and people you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what's hard about your job? Hard? Yeah. Sorry? What's hard about your oh. job? Well, what's hard? Oh, everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's, a ve- it's challenging. Like, you have to be on the ball. We, um, it's a uh, typical day is 10 hours. Um, 10 hours working plus 45 minute break. Um, so you need to be on the, on your, like on, on your A game, like for the whole 10 hours, there's no slacking off. I was actually told the first job over went on, um, never sit down. Like that was the, that's the mentality. Like you can't sit down. If you're sitting down, you're not working and you just need to be always active because sets like time on set runs really quick yeah. and, um, time is money. So yeah, yeah. it's awesome. Um, so what do you like about your job? Uh, how hard it is. Like, I love the challenge. Like, I I just, like, I, I'm always kind of on the go and I really like to be working and doing things. So I, that's what I love about my job. It's very, very challenging. And, yeah, every set is different. Um, yeah, it takes you all over the place. And you never, like, every day is different. It's not like, yeah, you always have something different. Yeah. So um, what traits would someone have to have to work in your job? Uh, traits, persistence, um, problem solving. Like it's a lot of problem solving because everything doesn't go to plan and you have to think on your, think on your feet how to make it work. Um, yeah, they're probably two. And just teamwork. It's all a collaboration. So I know so. you mentioned before that, you know, you might have companies that are paying a team of people $80,000 to make a commercial for maybe a car or some, um, some other product that they have. So yeah. um, when you say problem solving, is it so that, you know, you can get the end result that people are paying for? Yeah. So there's on a shoot day, you have, it might be only the 10 hour shoot day or one day of this job, but there's weeks and weeks and weeks of pre-production that's gone into making it all happen on that one day. And if something goes wrong, because I work in the camera department, that's the main thing. You don't have a camera, you don't have an ad, you don't have a product, so you're, you're screwed. So if something goes down on the camera, there's no time to be, you, you can't just go, oh, it's not working today, guys, we'll come back tomorrow. Like you've got to think on your feet how to make it work and how to get this problem fixed because you're running, you, the, sun, the sun's only up for what? 16 hours of the day. No, I don't know. But you know, you've got the yeah. summer, you've got, you got the, the day and that's it to shoot. And yeah. then if it's not, if it's, as soon as the sun goes down, you've got no light, you've got no shot. Well, that's a waste of the entire $80,000 production. Like you can't come back tomorrow and do it. Yeah, that makes sense. So in terms of the job, where can it take you? Is there lots of travel opportunities? Is there higher positions that you can go into? Yeah, it can take you anywhere. If you're, if you're, good there if you're the top of your game you can travel you can go productions will be all over australia all over the world like i've traveled to every i think it was last year i went to every state in the country um at least once and i've got to go to, i've been to central australia i've been down to tasmania um like all over you can travel it's it's yeah the world's your oyster like awesome. it's a great great um so yeah, it's a great job. Awesome. And in terms of higher opportunities or bigger opportunities, so you've worked your way up now to being paid to make commercials for some quite big um, businesses. I won't say who they are um, on here, but you do work for um, car companies and make all their advertisements. Is there opportunity yeah. one day if you wanted to to go into film or TV or those types of things if you wanted to keep working your way up? Definitely. Like you can, the, the industry, like I mentioned before, is very small. So if you wanted to try to change, because I I work in advertising and the commercial side, then the the other kind of side is drama. So that's where you've got your TV shows or your films, your long form productions. And they're again, a bit different to the high end stuff that I work on, but there's definitely the way to, there's definitely a way to go, like move down that pathway. And I find a lot of people I know 
want, like, like to move into the long form stuff, which is a bit more stable and you're working on a production for 12 weeks as opposed to one day, two days. Um, so yeah, you've got a lot of opportunities. Awesome. Thank you so much for chatting with us today, Aidan. Yeah, no worries. Thank you for having me, Nancy.